Hello, 5 Minute Friday number 24. And this week we're going to try and solve a problem for our students who are machining these little hi fi um, components. So these are for audiophiles who want to support the speakers and expensive equipment in an attractive and supposedly sound isolating way. Now, our CNC and CAM students have designed some products. We can cam them up on the lathe. Um, however, work setting and, and datum setting between components is a real pain because we don't have a bar feeder or a bar puller. So we need some kind of solution to deal with that. So this week, we're going to show you what we've come up with. And that solution is a manual bar stop. So just turn this little piece of aluminium up. It fits in a boring bar holder. Now, what I need to do now before I run the program is just manually set the tool offset so that when this is at X0, Z0, it's exactly the right place to start the program. So I'll get this installed, run the program, and then hopefully you should see what I mean. Now, the easiest thing in the world, undo the chuck, pull it out, and tighten it up. And because I've got a one mil offset on the front side, it doesn't even have to be that snug up to the stop. So, tighten, chuck guard in, and cycle start. If you're not familiar with this, the reason why it's speeding up and slowing down is for constant surface speed. It tries to keep the same cutting speed regardless of the diameter, which is really good for tool life and for surface finish. So now we've got some components that have been parted off. Because we're not quite using the, um, the angle parting off tool, the pip is on the components. We're just going to stick them in the manual collet lathe just to take that pip off, and it's quite interesting the difference between a ferrous and a non-ferrous tool. So we'll just take a look at that before we get stuck in. So two tips, both look pretty much the same. This one's for ferrous materials, this for non-ferrous. Main difference is the cutting edge itself. So if you look at the non-ferrous, it's actually got a little V point down the edge as opposed to the ferrous material or the ferrous cutting insert I should say which has just got a single crisp line down the front the difference being that this is designed for cutting softer materials so now we're just going to manually face the components and we're not going to damage the surface finish because we're using a collet chuck There we have it, all faced off on the back side, ready to go and laser cut some packaging. And here we have the final laser cut packaging. I think I might do a little cardboard wrap. So I just did a 0.5 on this, so you should just press in. Look at that. Perfect. So it's absolutely amazing that you can go from a design in your head to a product which you could actually sell including packaging within a matter of hours really so there we have it a really really simple and effective way of taking out all the faff with sorting out work datums on the cnc lathe so these little products from thought 
to manufacture a component in a matter of hours. And that's the thing with Fusion 360, absolutely amazing piece of software. The laser cutting, the cam, the turning, the rendering, everything done in there. So if you like these videos and you like Fusion 360 and computer-aided machining, do like, subscribe and comment, and we'll see you next time.